Hi everybody, these are Bar 2, and no, I am not a bony tits, so you know. I do like the show, but My Little Pony was one of my favorite shows as a kid. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a few things, but who, what characters I like, what characters, what episodes I like, and how I got into the series itself, and why I'm and why I like it so much. So, first of all, let's talk about why I like the show. It is, it's, it stems back to 1987. So, <clears throat> at the time, I was riding horses for, obviously, um, physical therapy. <clears throat> I've always told you I have disabilities, so, in the last video, so, and I was at a friend's house. I think it was, maybe it was 1986, I don't remember, but somewhere in there, I was, I was, I started, but somewhere, somewhere around there, I was sitting at a friend's house, and their girls were watching the original My Little Pony, and I was like, Whoa. What the heck? And I was intrigued. I wanted to watch a little more of it, but we had to leave. So, uh, be right back. Phone calls. Anyway, so for a while there, I could not find a way to watch it. Until I came across Disney. Now, at the time, the Disney show, at the time, we didn't have it paid. So, I had to watch it in bad quality. And, at the time, I didn't know what my family would think if I was watching that show. Because so I would change the channel every so often. I mean, every time I they'd come downstairs. But, Nowadays, they don't care. They, they know I like it. So, when the series, the series that was, a, that, um, I started watching was Tales. And some people don't like Tales. I don't, and I don't know why. I mean, I get it. It's more of a generic version of My Little Pony. I mean, they set up on the hide quarters. But let me ask you this. When have we actually seen shows where, where animals act like humans? And we're okay with it. So, a couple years, I mean, so let's talk about my favorite characters and my favorite episodes of the series. First, my favorite characters, and this is going to go along the, along the lines of also my favorite villains. So, one of my favorite characters is Sundance. Sundance, I've talked about when I talk about derpy hooves. Um, Sundance is more or less like a she's she's a klutz and. The reason why I like her so much is because, you know, she kind of reminds me of me when I was a kid. I was a klutz. Um, and I really like her. And she, she, I had wished that she had more episodes about her. But she only had one episode. And that was Escape from Katrina. Another one of my favorite characters is Fizzy. I don't know. I, it seems like I like the ditzy characters more than I do <laughs> a lot. Uh, I mean, I like all the characters, but Fizzy, she was funny. She was, she was, she, you couldn't hate her, you know? And she is voiced by one of my favorite voice actors, Kitty Lee. Which I didn't find out until much, much later. 
and she was so, so funny. Um, let's see. Oh, Vin Whistler. Um, the reason why I like her so much, I like her, is because she's, she, don't, she has a lot of knowledge, you know? And there was one episode, actually, and it was a two-part episode, Twice the Rock Dog, where she shows that she does care about people. And this is the reason why I like her. And then there's the other episode, Miss Bass Bailey, where we see the funny side of her. The the goofy side. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh, Sadie. And some people would say they don't like Sadie. She's whiny. I don't know. I mean, yeah, in The Glass Princess, she was whiny. But she isn't whiny in a bad way. I mean, sometimes in the episodes, she actually knows things. I, yeah, and again, in the movie, she was whiny in the movie as well. But have to tell me you see her, she actually isn't as whiny as she is in the movie or the episode. Oh, Megan, Molly, and Daddy. They're, I I can't say enough about the three. You know, I was hoping that friendship is magic would somehow, and and I think they kind of brought her back. In the Equestria Girls episode movies, but in, as a side character. But I kind of would say would have brought them back. And then we had to talk about the Baby Dragon Spike. He was one of my favorite characters. I think one of my favorite episodes of his was Dragon Quest, where he's basically looking to find somebody to take care of him. And they find somebody to take care of him, but he decides, decides, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm saving my, my pony friends. So let's go ahead and go over some of my favorite villains of the series. And then we'll talk about my favorite, and then we'll talk about more of my favorite episodes of Bottle Pony. The original series. I've already talked about you know, the other one, but and why I like him. Um, Grogar is one of my favorite villains. Grogar is dark. He's menacing. And that's what I like about most villains. They don't take things seriously. I mean, they, don't take th they take things seriously. Grogar, he wants to take all the parties and all the humans and make them his slaves for eternity in his in Tamalon. Um, Squirk. Is this more of a like hate? Because one, I like him, but on the other hand, I don't know. He's mean. In fact, I have an ep I have a story arc um, on my um, the uh, website I showed you during my Scooby Doo meets Wild Pony uh, crossover, where Crank actually turns aside of good because he's tired of Squirk or he's being mean to him. Um, I can't go and say my favorite villains without talking about Tirak. Not Tirak, Tirak. The original villain from Model Pony 1986 or Model Pony Escape from Midnight Castle. Which do you prefer? I mean, I do have some complaints about that episode because of I probably never I probably you probably heard the line if by midnight my 
Terry is not rolling. A head will roll. His! That's kind of dark. I can see some people not wanting the kids watching a dark cartoon like that. I've already talked about Hidia, Rika, and Draggle. I don't like them. It, they're the worst villains ever. I actually made a better villain in my story arcs. But I do like the smooths. It's just something about a blob that can keep a beat. That makes me like him. I guess I kind of like um, I don't know his name, but one from uh, Bright Lights, parts one and two. And he's different. And you know what? I also got another character, uh, but another bunch of characters. The Flutter Parties. They're great. They they always come in, come to help in times of need. And I've always liked them. And the Sea Ponies. Y you see them half the time doing backup singing for songs. But they're also characters. I can't, and I kind of wish they wouldn't have downplayed them in the movie later on in the series. And in, in Model Pony Friendship is Magic. And I'm glad they bought them. But they turned them more into a. I guess you could call them a hybrid. When they're in the water, they're sea ponies. And when they're out of the water, they're regular ponies. It's okay. But. I kind of wish they would have just made him into a mainline character. And then, I gotta say this. And I kind of wish they could have bought, could have kept her as a mainline character. And that is Katrina. Katrina and Vet are probably one of my favorite characters in the series. And I'm, not, I'm saying characters because they're not technically villains. And of course anything baby pony related. I, I don't know. I just I like the escape from Katrina. I like the three babies that Megan takes care of. And I was I've always liked them. Alright. And um that's talk about my favorite episodes and I'm gonna go with this some some episodes that I liked and are my top favorite episodes. They're not all, all, the, all the episodes are my favorite and I know I'm not including the end of Florida Valley because I liked it but I did like the fur bobs. So Escape from Katrina, obviously, is one of my favorite episodes. Uh, the first ever episode, which is 1986. Um, let's see. Uh, the Miss Best Melee. That's a good episode. Uh, I like that episode. Um, Crunch the Rock Dog. What's the name of that episode where they're... Trying to they're battling a king. Oh baby, it's cold outside. Parts one and two. I think I was like, what is the name of the episode where they're how to face King Tolerton? Maybe it's cold outside. I don't know. I like the episode. Um uh, Golden Horse Yeah. Golden Horseshoes. Parts one and two. That's another episode I liked. Um, what's the name of that episode where they have all those characters? Through the door, parts one and two, where basically all the characters from the uh, storybooks come out, 
I think it's pretty. I think that's a good episode. It's got its flaws, but I do like it. Uh. Oh, oh, oh! Sweet stuff and depressing. And by the way, I like sweet stuff as well. I I've always liked her. Sweet Stuff in the Treasure Hunt is one of my all-time favorite episodes because it's so sweet stuff can do stuff. And finally, I gotta say this, I do like the Great Rainbow Caper. It's, yeah, I like Surprise Danny and the Gizmunks. Anyway, those are my top favorite episodes. Um, next time, we're going to talk about my favorite cartoons. Um, on Cartoon Network. Including newer, newer cartoons. Like on Scott Share. I'll see you guys on the next video. And don't worry. We'll do more Model Pony episode, uh, <laughs> stuff later on. As soon as I feel like it.